After Ryan Garcia defeated Devin Haney, his face had some pretty significant swelling, and many people were saying Devin Haney's jaw was broken. However, this is false. His jaw was never broken. It's something Ryan said, and the trolls ran with. However, while the swelling on Devin Haney's face isn't from a broken jaw, it does reveal something far more sinister. Let's talk about it. But first, smash that like button, leave your thoughts in the comments section, subscribe if you ain't already subscribed, and uh, share the video, and check out our sponsors. Devin Haney's face, in addition to his jaw, clearly has lumps on it. His face almost resembles Adrian Broner after Marcus Maidana, Errol Spence, after Terence Crawford, and Wilder after the second Fury fight. What all these fights have in common is that, in all cases, the opponents were accused of manipulating the gloves. Broner versus Maidana. Regular I, 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 I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. Fuck no. Yeah, Hell no. Nah. I told him I don't I, 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 I fought. Look, I, you can feel my knuckle right here. I didn't fought this. I didn't fought it down. Oh. Nah. I didn't fought fucking hand in the Madonna tried to use skin gloves versus Floyd Mayweather, but Floyd caught him, and these were the gloves that were used on Broner. Tyson Fury 100% had skin gloves versus Wilder in the second and third fight. In the third fight, he had horsehair gloves. Tyson Fury 100% had skin gloves in the Wilder fight. And in the third fight, he had horsehair gloves, whose padding was designed to easily be shifted around so there's less padding in the knuckles, yet still meet the weight requirement. Breaks my heart to say it, but Bud's glove wasn't on the up and up either. Ryan doesn't appear to have removed padding in my opinion, and the gloves look to be intact. To the untrained eye, it would appear everything is on the up and up. However, Ryan Garcia's former coach revealed a subtle technique known as skinning the glove. The, the tape's too high on the glove, but someone signed off. We're, we're, on letting, it. This, we're letting this play out a little bit. Joe Goosen, you want to weigh in on, on just what, what has to be done here, what should yeah, be done? Yeah, the, the, the Michael Fox's uh, corner is. Uh, basically saying that they skinned the gloves. You see how low the tape is on top of the glove? Now, the laces should be right in there. There's a groove right there where the laces go. Now, skinning the glove, you you, you raise the laces and you you pull back the leather of the glove towards the wrist, and it, it, it makes them a tighter glove, and it shows more knuckles. So they you can tell by where the tape is, and you see how Bob, you want to low look it is on the glove, that means you, you are skinning the glove by putting the laces way down low on the glove instead of in the groove, which is higher up on your wrist. So, so explain to me, Joe, what, what's, what's the advantage gained? By, the advantage by, by is this. When you pull the leather back with the laces, there's a trick to do it. I can't say I've ever done it before. But uh, when you... When you grab the leather with the laces, is a trick to doing that. You moisten a little bit. I, I just noticed it was a little too high on the glove. We gotta have them bring it back. They skin the gloves. No, no, no. They're not skinning them. The tape's just too high up. Oh, just the tape. They wrapped it too high, and okay. then there's a lace under it. All right, it. got it. All right. So, so the referee came over Mark Nelson and said that the tape is too high. But I will tell you, in my opinion, <laughs> when the tape is when the tape is down there, it's because you're hiding the skin job. Now, when I was watching I, it live. Ryan's raps kept on attracting my eye. I noticed his raps seemed to be longer, almost tighter even. Compared to Devin's, it was about one and a half times the length. I felt he was using the technique. However, I couldn't be certain until I had a look after the fight. Admittedly, his glove is not as bad as most. 
and in a lot of photos, it's hard to say definitively. However, in these photos, it's clearly above the line. And in my opinion, you're telling me that they accidentally wrapped his glove in a fashion that just so happens to give him more power? But the fact that Ryan's coach is the one who made me aware of it, there's no way that Ryan's camp is not aware of this technique. Additionally, he clearly has it wrapped high on his entrance. Perhaps it may have peeled back a bit as the fight went on and as he was punching, which is why you don't see as much in other picks. At first, I felt this evidence was weak. However, when you look at Devin Haney's face, where there's smoke, there's fire. Now answer me this, if this is all just Ryan's natural power, and this is all from roughly four rounds of real work, how come he didn't do this in any of the six fights that he fought Devin in previously? I'll let you think on that one. How about this one? How come Ryan never did this to anyone else's face, if that's his natural power? Oscar Duarte, he didn't do that to his face. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Salute to the mighty LDBC. I and Lion Roll on a Dunno. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And share the video so that um, the algorithm can pick this up. You're done, no. Tune in for the next one.